I am Jens and this is output mode. Welcome to episode 1. And I guarantee you it, it'll be better than the other episode 1. Insert your favorite Star Wars rant here. I'll wait. I'm a freelance business writer by day, the self-development geek by night. What does it mean? It means that apart from general geekery about science fiction, comics, movies, theater, writing, tech and science, I also love to learn about positive psychology, motivation, purpose time management, and all the other great stuff out there that helps us to become better versions of ourselves. And this is what Output Mode will be about. Changing the world by doing the things we love. Why? Howard Thurman said it best. Don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and go do that. Because the world needs people who come alive. And to illustrate all that, I'll be sharing the way to my personal geeky goal as an example. You can either join in with your own project or just enjoy watching the total triumph or terrifying train wreck my own project will be. Today, I'll be showing you three starting points for finding your own passion and kick off my own project. But enough of the preliminaries and on to the main event. First, let's talk about passion. Finding something you want to do, something that gets you out of bed early and lets you stay up late. That's fantastic! but make sure you still get enough sleep. By the way, you don't need passion, but it makes life more interesting. I was going through most of my life thinking I didn't have a passion, but I was just so focused on things that I should do that I didn't realize I had plenty of passions. So let's look at three ways to find your passion. Just try stuff out. Just go out and try stuff. Something new or something you haven't done in a very long time. Something just may, and you got it, or not. In any case, you know more about yourself. That's how I got into theatre. A friend asked, I said yes! And now it's 16 years later and I still love it. Look at your bookshelf. Look at your bookshelf. Or at your video collection or the blogs you subscribe to. You get the idea. What did you collect a lot on over the years? A topic, a skill, anything? The important bit is over the years. Not just something you bought five books about at one time. It should be something that grew. For me, that's acting and directing, teaching and coaching, writing, mostly business writing, and self-development. And of course, science fiction and comics. But you won't find many of those in there because I had to sell them during a financial dry spell. I can still feel the pain. Look at your past. Is there anything you kept doing while other things changed? Or is there something you came back to again and again and again? This may be hard to find out, because to you, it's like swimming to a fish. You can't not do it, but you probably don't notice that you're doing it. Asking others may help. For me, that's been teaching and coaching. I always help others learn and grow. But it took me nearly 42 years to figure that out. So, after realizing that I actually had some pretty strong and long-lasting passions, I set myself a BHAG. A big, hairy, audacious goal. Something that taps into a lot of passions and is a real challenge. My geeky goal is to be on stage in six months in front of a live audience performing my own material and using that journey to help others grow and go after their own goals. And it really is a challenge. I've got no place to rehearse, no place to perform, no audience, no material, I'm not nearly fit enough, I've never vlogged before and I still have to earn my living. But I still think it's doable. I may or may not reach that goal, but as the saying goes, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. That's it for today. Next time I'll be talking about strengths, how to find them and how to use them. I'll be also sharing the progress on my project and answering your questions, if you have any. If you like, share your own goals and passions and questions in the comments below. It would also be great if you liked and shared this video and subscribe to Geek & Sundry. See you next time. Tschüss und auf Wiedersehen from Germany.